This is a dead lithium iron battery. And as you can see on emitter, we have a voltage of 0, 0.0 volts. So in this video, I'm going to show you an easy step on how you can revive a dead lithium iron battery. So please be a part of our channel by clicking on that subscribe button, because in our next video, we're going to build a fully functional battery from scratch. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you might miss out. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So let's look at the lithium ion battery. So a lithium ion battery has what is called a CID, which has a top disc and insulator, a bottom disc and a tap. So this setup works more like a pressure relief valve. When you overcharge your lithium ion battery and the pressure inside the battery is up to 145 PSI, the top disc of the CID will move upwards detaching itself from the bottom disc and at this point we have zero volts on the battery so in order to revive the battery all we need to do is push down the top disc in order to release the pressure and when we do that the top disc will then attach itself back to the bottom disc and then collect the positive voltage so now let's try this out and see if it actually works And so guys, as you can see here, we have a voltage of 3.31 volts on emitter. And so now we're just going to bridge the battery and show you how powerful it is. And as you can see here, the battery still has a good amount of power in it. And so we're going to do this for the 18650 lithium iron battery. And as you can see on the emitter, the battery doesn't work. And so we're going to use this flat 2 to press downwards against the CID. And remember not to punch a hole through the CID or else you lose the battery. And also remember to do this in a well ventilated area because the gas coming out of the battery is highly flammable. So do this for the four holes and sometimes you might hear a pressure relief sound and sometimes you might not. So use your multimeter to measure the voltage and see if it's properly working. And as you can see here, we have a voltage of 2.97 volts. And so let's try this out one more time again with another battery and with the meter connected. And so guys, as you can see here, it works. So we have a voltage of 2.92 volts. And so now we connected a, an LED as our load to show you how it works. And as you can see here, it works perfectly well. So guys, in our next video, we're gonna build a fully functional battery from scratch. And stay tuned for that video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Stay creative and stay safe. This is a swollen LiPo battery. And you don't wanna be using this. The swell can be caused by overcharging the battery or over discharging the battery. So how do we fix this without causing explosions or any sort of disaster? A very simple and effective way is by cooling it. So let's try that out and see if it actually works. First, we're going to measure the voltage of the battery before cooling it. And so as you can see here, the voltage is about 1.7 volts. So by cooling the battery, we are able to decompress the gases that are in the battery. You can put the battery in your fridge or you can just put it into some cold water. For this project, I'm just going to deep it in some cold water. And so after deeping the battery, I just left it for an hour to sit. And after deeping the battery, I took it up from the water and behold, the battery was completely flat. And so guys, this is a very effective way you can repair a LiPo battery without damaging it. So now we're going to test the voltage one more time to see if there's any changes. And so guys, as you can see here, we have a voltage of 1.6 volts. So if you like this video, be a part of our channel by hitting that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up as well. 
stay creative and stay safe. In this video, you're gonna learn how to repair any lithium or lipo battery with very simple steps. So hit that subscribe button to be a part of our channel because in our next video, we're gonna build a capacitor cannon. You know, the actual capacitor cannon that is being used in the war. So um, hit that subscribe button to be a part of our channel because if you're not subscribed to the channel, you will miss out. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So let's start with this swollen lipo battery. So what really caused this lipo battery to get swollen? Well, well that's simple, he ate at McDonald's and that's why he's fat. No, it's a battery. It got overcharged. That's why it's swollen. So the reason why your LiPo battery is bloated is because you overcharged the battery. And so by overcharging the battery, this will cause a buildup of flammable gas in the battery, which might explode if you have a flame close to the battery. So a way to solve this problem is use a needle to make a tiny hole in the battery. Be sure to do this in a ventilated area. So remember to not go deep with the needle into the battery to avoid shorting the cells. So try not to do what I'm doing here with the flame. It's, it's really dangerous and it, it might explode. So next thing we're gonna do is press on the battery to remove all the gas. And after doing that, we're gonna have to seal the hole with some glue. So let's move on to the next battery. This is still a LiPo battery that is swollen and has a BMS on it. So the BMS didn't really do its job here by stopping the battery from overcharge. Ah, uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, not all BMS are efficient. So this very BMS we have on the battery will cut off if the battery is over discharged or if there's a short on the battery. Well, most BMS will do just more than that. So we do the exact thing we did for the other LiPo battery. Just make a hole in the battery and push out the gases and glue the battery. So now that that's done, let's measure the voltage on the battery and see if it actually works. And so guys, as you can see here, we have just zero volts. And guys, that's because we're measuring the voltage on the output of the BMS circuit. So now let's measure the voltage of the battery. And so by peeling this insulation, we're able to expose the terminals of the battery. So now we're gonna measure directly on the battery terminals to see if we have a voltage. So as you can see guys, we have two volts on the meter. So the BMS cutoff voltage was at 2.76 volts. So now we're gonna have to boost the battery. To do this, we're gonna need a three volt battery and we're gonna hook that up in Palero with the weak battery. So after doing that, we're gonna let it sit for a minute or two and then we will discharge the battery. So now we're gonna measure the voltage again at the output of the BMS to see if we have anything at all. And so guys, as you can see here, we have a voltage of 3.35 volts. And yes, it was working. So now we're gonna fix a dead 18650 lithium iron battery with no voltage at all. So I made a video on how to fix 18650 battery and a couple of people were saying that it's, it's a fake video, it's a scam and all that stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook up the battery uh, to the meter and then we're going to test it at the same time that we're repairing it. And there's going to be no cuts in this very section of this video, of the video. So let's do this. As you can see here, we have absolutely no voltage. So I'm gonna do that again. And as you can see, there is no voltage on the battery to show that the battery is dead. So we're gonna have to cut off the strip, the metal strip, and then we are going, sorry about that, there is a cut in this very one because I went to go get my scissors. So um, yeah, we're gonna cut that out so we can uh, detach the very this very battery from the other one so yeah So now I'm gonna hook up a wire to the positive terminal so that we can hook that up to the meter's uh, probe.
and I'm very sorry about this very cut because I uh, had to change the view of the camera so um, just gonna hook that up to the meter so that I can show you again that there is absolutely no voltage on the battery So here guys, we've hooked up the positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of our multimeter and as well as a negative terminal. So as you can see, we have no voltage on the meter. So now we're going to use a needle to push down on uh, the CID. If you watch my previous video on how I uh, repaired the lithium iron battery, there's what we call a CID on the battery that adjusts itself when the battery is uh pressurized so we're just going to push down on that part of the battery we're going to push down on the rest of the holes and if we do that we're going to get a voltage so watch the battery and watch the meter as well And so guys, as you can see here, we have a voltage of 2.97 volt to show you that it works and it's not a scam. So um, yeah, this is going to be it for the video, guys. Um, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. And uh, stay safe and stay creative, guys. Goodbye.